Oh crap. I thought if I went south I wouldn't have this problem with traffic. Oh well. The other topic that I wanted to address today was the whole concept of anonymity as a moto vlogger. And there are some moto vloggers who have taken this to, you know, it becomes kind of an entertaining type of um, event, I guess, or it's become an entertaining element of their YouTube channel that their subscribers never see their face. So Baron Von Grumble comes to mind. Um, who else? Lead pin comes to mind. And there are many others. Um, and it's an interesting... It's an interesting element, I think, of the whole motovlog experience. I don't really care that people know who I am. I make no effort to disguise the license plate number on my bike. Either, either bike. Um, and I have a link to my website where my, you know, my mugshot is right there for people to take a look at if they want. And so I don't really care about the whole anonymity thing. But there are other motor vloggers who do, and they take it very seriously. And they keep everything a secret. Nobody knows what kind of work they do, uh, because very few moto vloggers are actually moto vlogging full time. I assume there's one or two. Um, Everride comes to mind, but I know Everride's face, and I know his name is Tyler. So, uh, you know, shout out to Everride for for being honest. And uh, maybe it's not a question of honesty uh, on the part of those moto vloggers who choose to remain anonymous. I think it maybe has something to do with uh, intrigue and um, uh, keeping viewers uh, returning. But uh, I think it's very an interesting phenomenon in this age of uh, selfies and uh, what some would call a narcissistic element of our society, being on Facebook expressing ourselves on Google Plus and YouTube and everywhere else and just that whole experience. It's very I find it very interesting. 